God damn it! Whoa! The game industry giveth and the game industry taketh away. There have been many game franchises over the years that simply stopped giving us sequels. Sometimes they didn't sell and at other times the developers were just tired of them. In this video we want to take a look at forgotten games that should return to the limelight. Get ready for 10 more games that deserve a comeback. Look, we really like dinosaurs, okay? Even as grown-ups, these massive creatures still fascinate us. That's also why we liked the Dino Crisis series so much back in the day. The first two games were great as they basically played as Resident Evil with dinosaurs. You never knew when a huge dinosaur would suddenly jump out at you. Unfortunately, Capcom jumped the shark with the third game. Dino Crisis 3 was set in space and that made things a little too ridiculous. The current generation of consoles offers so much potential to bring this series back with some awesome looking dinosaurs. Yeah, hey, what's with a bird, Harry? She's one of Charlie's specials. Specials? Special people with special jobs. She used to be on the game until she found her true calling. The Getaway was Sony's answer to the massive success of the Grand Theft Auto series. This PlayStation 2 game featured mind-blowing graphics at the time. It also had a great location in the form of London. The British underworld was just as menacing as the American gangsters from Grand Theft Auto. Oh. Hey, this guy's a nutter! Unfortunately, the getaway launched together with the insanely popular Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Coming out against such a juggernaut proved to be a death sentence for the game, and it sold below expectations. However, we would still love to see a new getaway game on the PlayStation 4 someday. Morning, sunshine. Good to see you again. Do you sleep well? You look a little drowsy. Grievous, bring the boy around. Get ready, fight! Everybody talks about Street Fighter, Tekken and Killer Instinct, but whatever happened to Bloody Raw? This great fighting game series gave us fast-paced and brutal action back in the day. Each fighter could transform into a dangerous animal and dish out some serious damage. The gameplay was extremely fun and the cast of characters were very original for the time. It even had a story that wasn't complete garbage like most other fighting games. We know that Konami has the rights somewhere which pretty much crushes our dreams of a sequel. Use your hatred to leave their souls. I can make it possible. Become my Soul Reaver. Soul Reaver has an extra special place in our heart. These original PlayStation games were just so stylish. You got to play an anti-hero in a black gothic world full of evil vampires. The story was incredibly deep and the British voice acting gave it a lot of class. Who better to serve me than those whose passion transcends all notions of good and evil? The gameplay consisted of exploration similar to Tomb Raider. It also had some great combat and puzzles in which you shifted between the real and spectral world. We would love to see this epic series make a grand return on modern gaming systems. Do you remember when we told you that we really like dinosaurs? Well, we weren't kidding, since Turok is also one of our favorite video game series. 
unfortunately, is just as extinct as the dinosaur these days. This first-person shooter gave us amazing graphics on the Nintendo 64. It had some absolutely crazy weapons and lots of platforming elements. This unique blend of gameplay in combination with the awesome setting really made Turok something special. They tried to revive the series on the PlayStation 3, but that game simply wasn't as good as the Nintendo 64 games. However, that was 10 years ago, and we want to see the developers take another stab at it. Do you guys remember Driver on the original PlayStation? This driving game had mind-blowing graphics for the time and very fun gameplay. The game was designed to mimic 1970s car chase films and it really delivered on that promise. You played a detective called John Tanner and visited many interesting locations like Miami, San Francisco and Los Angeles. It got a couple of pretty good sequels and even the fifth game, Driver San Francisco, was very enjoyable. However, that was seven years ago and we'd like to get behind the wheel and chase some bad guys again in the near future. All right, everyone, we're here, sinking our orbit now. All this trouble over that chunk of rock. Dead Space was such a great survival horror game when it came out. It provided some really scary moments as you explored a spaceship full of necromorphs. The fact you had to shoot off their limbs to kill them was also an original idea that provided some fun gameplay. It had an even better sequel in the form of Dead Space 2. However, they really screwed up the third game. Dead Space 3 wasn't scary at all and focused too much on action. Unfortunately, developer Visceral Games is as dead as a necromorph these days, so we don't expect a new Dead Space anytime soon. Call us childish, but we also really like ninjas besides dinosaurs. And pirates, but let's save that for another video. Few games capture the feeling of being a ninja so well as the Tenchu series. These games were all about sneaking around in the dark and surprising your enemies with a deadly attack. Tenchu 1 and 2 blew our minds back in the day, and we didn't even notice how bad the voice acting was. You shall die by my arrows. Your arrows are like you, weak and twisted. I fear them, not. Unfortunately, the series lost its greatness over time and it died a slow but painful death. However, we would still like to see a great ninja stealth game for modern systems. Left 4 Dead captured the minds of gamers for a brief period about a decade ago. The first two games were excellent zombie shooters that took cooperative gameplay to the next level. It was so fun to get together with a group of friends and blow hundreds of zombies away. However, it wasn't just mindless shooting as different zombie types varied up the gameplay. You really had to be tactical with your group if you wanted to survive the higher difficulty levels. Unfortunately, Valve really doesn't like games with a 3 behind their title, so we're not expecting a new game anytime soon. Ah! 
ask any fans of role-playing games about their favorite game of all time, and chances are they will say Chrono Trigger. This Super Nintendo game made such an impact back in the day, and many gamers have fond memories of traveling through time and visiting different worlds. However, this masterpiece only got one sequel, and that game is also universally loved. Can someone please explain to us why we got 15 Final Fantasies and 10 Dragon Quests, but only two games in the Chrono series? It's definitely time to bring this amazing franchise back to the future. Are there any other games that deserve a comeback? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. As the Reaver drained the forge of its vital energy, the tempest receded. I recovered myself and paused to admire my newly forged weapon.